What's up everybody? I want to make a quick follow-up video to my last one so I can show you all how to animate transform nodes and other nodes that might not have typical output. So by the end of it, what we're going to add is this right here where you can see the frilly bits on the outside move inwards uh, thanks to the movement of a transform node. So let's jump into it. Here we are in the graph editor. Um, and right here I have this transform node already hooked up so that way it animates uh, along with time. Uh, so we're just going to delete that for now and we'll make another one from scratch. This is just uh, a generic empty transform node. What I want to do with this for the final output is animate this Y value so that way it moves inwards like this. You can see that I don't have the ability to expose just one of these values, the X or the Y, like I did in the last example. But what I can do is come up here and click Empty Function. What that is going to do is make a new function graph that just takes the place of both of those two values. In return, it asks that the output type is a float2. Now a float2 is pretty simple. It is just two floats on top of each other, um, with floats being like decimal values. Um, so you can see here if we just add a float to we'll do this and it'll control that if we set it as the output just as the X and Y value would inside that transform node originally but what we want to do is control these values independently and be able to plug stuff into them which this node doesn't give us what we want for that is a vector float to this is going to allow us to put two floats in here and get a float to as an output and by the end, we just want this node to be the output, so we'll set it as that. For the top value, I don't want any movement on the x-axis, so I'm just going to add a float with a value 0. And for the bottom node, I want it to move along with time, so I am going to add a get float and set it to time. We're going to plug that in there, save it, and see how it animates export as uh, SBSAR and then refresh in substance player and this is what we get you can see that it is pretty ridiculously fast and it definitely does not make you want to relax as the text says so I'm gonna slow that down a bit just by dividing time so I can add a division node and I'll plug time in as the numerator and I will get a float to plug in as the denominator. I want it to slow down by a factor of about 8, so I'm just going to plug that in there. Once again, save it. Republish as SBSAR. Refresh. And there we go. A nice relaxing picture. Thank you all for watching.